evaluating expressions with multiple variables, fractions, and decimals. Evaluate 0.3y plus y over z. So we're going to take uh, 0 0.3 and we're going to change the y to a 10 plus we're going to take 10 for the y over the z which is 5. So here you know you got multiplication division so they're on the same level so we can go ahead and multiply here so 0.3 times 10 is 3 plus now here we have 10 over 5 again just like the fraction we saw before reduces down to a 2. So 3 plus 2 is 5. That's correct. Let's go to the next one. We have 13, we want to evaluate 13 minus 0.75w plus 8x. So here we want to take uh, 13 minus, we want to take 0 0.75, replace the w with a 12. Uh, then we want to say plus 8 times x. So we want to say 8 times the 1 half. So we're going to go ahead and take care of the uh, 0.75 and multiply that by 12. So let's go ahead and uh, bring up our, uh, not our calendar, let's bring up our calculator. So we're going to say 0.75. We want to times this by 12. So that actually turns out to be a 9. So we're going to say 13 minus 9. Now right here we can take this 8 over 1. Go ahead and multiply this. So we get this to be 8 over 2. Now we can go back and we can actually uh, reduce that down. So 8 over 2 would become 4. So now we're going to take 13 minus 9. So 13 minus 9 is 4. So 4 plus 4 is 8. So let's put this in here and check this. So this is 8 and it's correct. Let's move on to the next problem. So here we want to evaluate 4 minus 0 0.25g plus 0 0.5h. So we're going to say 4 minus 0.25g. Notice g is 10. Now we want to say plus 0.58. So that's going to be 5. So let's take care of our multiplication here. So we're going to say 4. We'll put down the minus sign. Now when you multiply by the positive by 10, you're going to move the decimal over one place. So it turns into uh, 2.5. Here you're going to take 0 0.5 times 5. Well, doing so, that's going to give you 25, but you've got to slide the decimal over one place. So that becomes a positive 2.5. You can clearly see that uh, these two numbers here will cancel out and become 0. So you should just have 4 as your answer. So let's check that, and it is correct. Let's go to the next question. Okay, here we got some fractions here. So we're going to say uh, 1 third. Okay, notice M is 21. So we'll just say, you know, 21 over 1 minus 1. Now we're going to say minus 1 half. Notice the N turns into a 12. So we'll just say 12 over 1. 1. So we multiply, we get uh, 21 over 3 minus 1. Here we're going to get, uh, let's see, it's going to continue with the minus sign. So we're going to take uh, 1 times 12 is 12 over 2. So now right here, 21 divided by 3 is 7. So 7 minus 1. 12 minus 2 is 6. So 7 minus 1 is 6 but we have a 6 minus 6, so it appears our answer should be 0. So let's see if that is correct. 